Hi, welcome to Father of Games. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial of how to play Wingspan. If you want to hear my thoughts on the game, I've linked a review in the description. Otherwise, let's take a look at how to play. In Wingspan, 1-5 to five players are bird enthusiasts trying to attract birds to their aviary. The player whose birds score the most points at the end of 4 rounds wins the game. Place all these components in reach of all players. Roll the 5 food dice into the back of the bird feeder and deal out 3 cards into the empty spots of the bird tray. Next, each player receives a player board, the 8 action cubes of their chosen color, one of each of the 5 types of food, and their starting cards from the appropriate decks. Of the bonus cards, one is kept and one is discarded, and of the 5 bird cards, players may keep as many of them as they'd like, but must discard one food for each card kept. Next, choose the more or less competitive side of the goal board, deal out one tile to each spot on the board, and randomly choose a first player to start the game. Starting with the first player and going clockwise from there, players choose one of 4 possible actions. Play a bird gain food, lay eggs, or draw bird cards. Speaking of bird cards, let's take a look at some of the more important icons you'll see on the cards. In the top left is a habitat or multiple habitats this bird can be placed in. Under that is the food cost required to play this bird. The number with the feather is how many points this bird is worth. Under that is the nest type, and under that is the nest capacity. The small number here is each bird's wingspan, and the text at the bottom, which may or may not be colored, is each bird's ability. Activating a bird's ability simply means doing what is written on the card here, and they activate at different times depending on the color. White abilities activate when played and never again. Pink abilities activate when certain requirements are met in between that player's turn to a maximum of once in between turns. And brown abilities do nothing when played, but activate on later turns when a player chooses an action in the habitat that the bird is present in. When a player chooses the gain food action, they grab a number of food from the bird feeder as icons showing in the leftmost spot on their board. Only what is revealed in the bird feeder may be chosen, and if ever all dice in the bird feeder show the same face, then all five dice may be re-rolled before gaining more food. If this symbol is revealed in the leftmost spot of that player's board, then that player can discard one bird card from their hand for an additional food from the bird feeder. All brown birds in the forest may be activated in order after the gain food action is chosen. If the lay eggs action is chosen, that player may lay a number of eggs on birds in their aviary as symbols showing in the leftmost spot in that row. Eggs may be distributed however players like, but you can never exceed any bird's nest capacity. If this symbol is showing in the leftmost available spot, then one food could be discarded for one more egg. All brown birds in the grasslands may activate in order after the lay eggs action is chosen. If the draw birds action is chosen, then that player may draw a number of cards as shown on the leftmost spot on their board from either the deck or the card tray. Players have no hand limit, and if this symbol is showing in the leftmost spot, that player may discard one egg to draw one extra card. All brown birds in the wetlands may activate in order when the draw birds action is chosen. And finally, if the player bird action is chosen, then that player can play a total of one bird from their hand in any habitat on their board, assuming the bird can be placed there. All food costs for that bird must be paid, and potentially any egg cost, depending how many other birds are currently in that habitat. After the card is played, that player's turn is over, no brown birds are activated when the player bird action is chosen. When players have played all 8 action cubes, the round is over, and players compare the end of round goals either against each other or themselves, depending on what side of the goal board was chosen during setup. After that, the birds in the tray fly away, and new ones take their place, and the first player marker is passed clockwise, and that player will start the next round but each player will only have 7 actions the second round, and by the time players are on the fourth round, they'll only have 5 actions each. And at the end of the fourth round, the game is over and scores can be added up. Each player adds up the points from all their bird cards, any points they scored by completing the objectives from their bonus cards, any points from the end of round goals, all leftover eggs are worth 1 point, and some brown bird cards when activated throughout the game let players tuck bird cards underneath them or cash food on top of them. Each tuck card and cash food is worth one point at the end of the game as well. The player with the most points wins the game, and in the case of a tie, the player with the most leftover food wins, and if there's still a tie, then the players share the victory. And that's how you play Wingspan. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.